I have got a long overdue updated makeup collection video to share with you guys today and I'm very well aware of the amount of makeup that I have. I have got a lot of makeup. Makeup is something that I enjoy collecting and it just brings me joy and I kind of feel like it's just part of who I am. <laughs> I'm going to try run through it a little bit quicker than my older collection video and I figured if there were certain portions of this video that you guys wanted to see more in depth on, um, just leave a comment down below and I'll kind of maybe do a series like the ones that I've done in the past of um, small kind of collections and stuff like that and get into a little bit more detail on the products if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So I'm just standing at the door of the makeup room and I'm just going to start right here and go in and show you what's behind the door. And that is where I have got my nail polishes. I just got some racks online and they were hand painted to match my toolboxes. So that is where I keep all of my nail polish. And then I got some really pretty little butterflies here that I got at the fair. And then moving over here, I've got a chest of drawers. This is from Pure One. I do not recommend it. Extremely expensive, extremely poorly made. <laughs> and then on top of that, I have got um, some perfume. So just kind of random selections of perfume right there and then I recently hung these uh, shelves in the closet here to house more palettes because I tend to use things more when they're out and I can see them um, so we'll just start over here I've just got some powders followed by some palettes some Besame Tarte Dose of Colors a Sigma palette and then down here these ones right here are all NARS and then the balm BH Cosmetics, uh, some Morphe Beauty Bay palettes. Those great big Beauty Bay palettes are really affordable and really, really nice. And then moving down here, it's kind of a tight squeeze and you can't see that good. But I've got some Marc Jacobs, some Sephora palettes, and then some really large palettes down here. Moving back up to the top right here, I have got a Christian Audette candle that came with the Mel Thompson collaboration. Sugar Pill eyeshadow palettes. And then these ones right here are all Huda Beauty. And then I've got some Fenty Beauty compacts right here as well that a lot of those I use as eyeshadows. Although I think they're intended for the face. And then here is my ColourPop shelf. I've got a pigment set over here. And then here are all their pressed eyeshadow palettes, which I wasn't joking. <laughs> I've got every one that they've ever made. And then a little glitter set. And then this is from Besame. I recently got this. It's for loose powder. And I just really enjoy things like this. They're kind of like old time. It just makes me happy. <laughs> and then I've got this ColourPop powder, which I'm obsessed with the packaging on that stuff. And then, of course, the little princess. I just think they're too pretty to put in a drawer. So I set them up there to kind of be on display. So that's what's on that shelf. And then moving up here, we've got Aether Beauty, Nobla Cosmetics, and... Lime Crime. And then down over here, we have got Urban Decay and Anastasia Beverly Hills. And those are all the palettes that she has done since she rebranded. Um, so I've got them all the way back to, let's see, I think this was the first one, right? The Lavish palette right there. And then this little guy up here, his uh, little Makeup Forever palette that has some ABH singles in it. So I keep that up there as well. And then here's the Naked Honey with all the Naked palettes. And down here I've got more Urban Decay, which are all right here. And then Kat Von D starting right here. So those are all Kat Von D palettes. And then if we move down further, I've got some more kind of book style palettes. These ones here are from Sephora. This, oh my gosh, who remembers the Tarte and True Blood? I love this thing. This thing gives me all the feels. <laughs> Right there, and then some storybook cosmetics, more Sephora, the Jasmine, Cinderella, um, what other one is that one? Uh, Little Mermaid, and then some Besame, Lorac, Beauty and the Beast, um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, some more older Tarte ones, and Sephora ones in the back with the Pantone color of the year stuff. And then this is <laughs> so cute. It's a little Halloween deal that Wet n Wild sent over that's full of Halloween makeup, and I just... It's still full of all the makeup. I just can't bear to disturb it. I think it's the cutest thing ever. So that is what is on that side of the closet. Then if you move up in the closet, on the left side I've got Too Faced right here. And then this is a Kat Von D train case. I love 
I love those things. And then here are a bunch of Too Faced palettes, quite a few vintage. This is one I always like to pull out and show you guys because I think it is absolutely stunning. Does anybody still have this? Again, I just think it's, I think it's so pretty. So vintage Too Faced, and then moving over here, another Kat Von D. Then we've got that cute little bear. That's the old lipstick picture that I used to have on the back wall. And then on the right side of the center Kat Von D train case, I've got Urban Decay. So just a ton of Urban Decay. Who remembers the Book of Shadows, right? The only one that I don't have is the Volume 1. <laughs> but I've got it all the way back to the Volume 2 right there. And then I just have those Pat McGrath palette boxes because I think they're so pretty. And then the Urban Decay Motherload. I did a video on that. This was so long ago and that is still full of all of those single eyeshadows. <laughs> and then the very first Kat Von D train case that came out is right there. So that is everything that is inside of the closet on the right when you first walk in the door. I'll come back to the chest but now I'm going to wheel around right here and this is typically what you guys see in my videos in the background I can't remember where I got the little stool but my cats have about torn that thing to shreds by now <laughs> and then the desk um, the lights and the mirror are all by Glamcore which I just really absolutely love my Glamcore stuff and then I got a little Anasui box and then in this first drawer I just like to keep things um, like cute little things that were sent over in PR that I just think is cute and then that's from Anna Sui. I got some salt lamps. There's my festive decor for the holiday season. Some of my favorite perfumes by Rado Gypsy Water, Cartier, Baisy Volet Essence. And then I've got some of my jewelry housed in that little egg right there. And then I have got a makeup brush box, a Maki box right here with a washcloth from Japan that Sonia G sent me in a little oh gosh she sent me the prettiest package and I just think this is so stunning and then inside of here I got a bunch of my Chikahoto travel brushes which are some of the prettiest just some of the prettiest things right and then I got another salt lamp dolphin salt lamp right there and then in this drawer I've just got some makeup mirrors and some kind of body sprays and body lotions in there. And then we got the blue toolbox over here. So these are all face palettes right here. I'll try to get in and show you guys the gist. Um, Becca, Tom Ford, some more Becca back there. Natasha Denona, um, Benefit, Urban Decay, you guys can kind of see, some Charlotte Tilbury, Dior. How pretty is this Besame palette with the um, Sleeping Beauty on it? Some of these, some of the packaging on this stuff is so pretty. Um, Hourglass, Too Faced, I've got all the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits, and then I got a ridiculous ridiculous amount of NARS palettes. So here's an old one. This is the NARS uh, Guy Bourdon collab face palette. And then there are some LA Girl back there. These are super inexpensive and super amazing for the money. They got beautiful blushes, bronzers, and highlights in there. I got the pink and the corally one. They're just really good, especially for the price. So, and then in the first drawer is just a bunch of lip gloss that doesn't get used all that often. I've got some real nostalgic stuff in here. Like these, no joke, these um, lip glosses from Kat Von D I think are 10 years old. I can still open one of those up and it smells the exact same way that it did when I first bought them. It's, it's wild. Uh, and it takes me back legitimately in time, 10 years. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but. So those are all those. They're not all you know, old, I got Pat McGrath and some Fenty and stuff like that in there. First drawer is all lip glosses in there. And then the second drawer, which yes, I have decluttered, <laughs> but I could do it probably a couple more times. I've got mini perfumes and then little spritzers. What I like to do with these, I like to use these when I travel. So I'll just grab like five or six of them or something like that and put them in a little bag and I travel with these type of perfumes as opposed to bringing along a giant bottle of perfume. And then these here are all uh, Byredo and Joe Malone samples that my friend Rachel sent me because I wanted to smell a bunch of um, their fragrances. So I keep that there. There's still some more Byredo perfumes that I'd love to get, but 
Um, this next drawer is all minis. Just a bunch of little tiny sample size things that also come in super handy for travel. Powders, mini lipsticks, just a bunch of mini things <laughs> in that drawer. And then moving down to the next drawer, these are pretty much all um, highlighters and then a couple blushes inside of here that didn't fit in my kind of more used stuff, like a lot like highlighters, like these Charlotte Tilbury ones that are so pretty, they're, but they're too dark for me. But I still really like them. <laughs> That's kind of what's in here. And then jar highlighters as well over here. This here Lancome thing was is still that is such a regret. Sixty dollars for that flower. I remember it's like coated with shimmery things. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, and then over here, I wanted to show you guys this. This here is the very first baked gelée product I've ever purchased. And to my recollect, it's the very first that I know of that's been on, that was on the market. And this is from Guerlain, and it is the Cruel Gardenia highlighter. And it's it's really a beautiful highlighter. That is what it looks like inside. And it's just a really stunning pinky shade of baked jelly greatness. And I just love this thing. It brings back so many memories. I believe I got it at the Guerlain Boutique when I was down in Las Vegas. Because they were super sold out all over the internet. And then here's the very first rendition of Estee Lauder Heat Wave. And then who remembers? <laughs> Dior. I've got the pink one and I've got the amber diamond. This was also all the rage back in the day, right? Now there's so many highlighters out on the market, but we've got some Makeup Geek, Urban Decay, Charlotte Tilbury. I think the packaging on this little Cleo one is so pretty. Um, Too Faced, and then a, some MAC stuff right over here. Uh, Rihanna, that Rihanna collection, gosh, that was a big deal. <laughs> So that is that drawer. And then the next one down is, this is the Wet n Wild drawer right here. These are all Wet n Wild eyeshadows. For the most part, there's a couple face products in here as well, but mostly all Wet n Wild. I've got singles. You guys want to see some throwback? Here's some throwback Wet n Wild. Some Mega Eyes trios that are so old. These have not even been opened. I actually had a um, subscriber send these over to me and I just think it's the most great vintage wet and wild ever. So old though. Crazy, right? So everything in here is all wet and wild. Mostly all eyeshadows. I like to just open up the drawer and look at it sometimes. <laughs> so that's in there. The third drawer down has got eyeshadow palettes. So we've got some Pure Cosmetics, some... What is this brand again? It's like a makeup revolution from Target. What is it called? Makeup Obsession, right there. Some CoverGirl, um, Milani, a Sayate palette, Zoeva, this big Lancome palette thing. And then we've got some MAC, Makeup Addiction. I love these palettes, I think they're so pretty. This is, these are pretty vulgar, the ones with the birds on there. Um, Stilazzi, uh, that was not a very good palette. <laughs> Essence, um, MAC over here. These are all MAC palettes. I go back and forth whether or not to declutter these, but then I just weaken and I can't do it. <laughs> Who remembers this one right here? This was like a big, everybody was after this one. It's the Brooke Shields MAC palette right there. And then we've got some of the newer MAC palettes up front right here. I really like this new packaging that they have for their larger eyeshadow palettes. So that is that drawer. And then we have got another drawer full of face palettes. So we have got some Jeffree Star, Sephora, Too Faced, um, Kat Von D, I love this, I love this thing. We've got some, uh, I think those are Makeup Geek singles back there. Uh, BH Cosmetics, what else, um, Lime Crime. Some more Sephora, Urban Decay, kind of just a mishmash of palettes in here. Colored Rain, Wet n Wild, Huda Beauty, Ofra. I've got so many Tarte blushes in these palettes, but I really think these are handy. Um, the Balm, Viseart, and some Jouer Blush Duos right there. Here's a little Kiko guy. So that is a drawer full of face palettes right there. 
And then the bottom drawer of this guy is again eyeshadow palettes. There are some real old vintage fellows up in here <laughs> that again I just can't bother to get rid of. That Smashbox palette was a QVC and I want to say it was a hundred bucks back in the day but it's loaded like loaded loaded with eyeshadows and like products. It's one of the first like mega palettes that I can remember. So that is what's in here. Who remembers Kurt Tarina Tarantino? Stila, The Balm, another Tarina Tarantino. Um, just a, a mishmash of palettes right here. I think one of the first ever influencer collaborations was that Sigma palette right there in the back. That's the first one that I can ever remember that was done. And now, now look at what we have nowadays. Collab after collab, right? So that was the blue toolbox. And then up here, I did want to mention these prints. I get a lot of questions on them. Um, they're from Curtis Rykovich. You can find him on Instagram. But I just bought, I think those are 11 by 14s if I'm not mistaken. And I purchased those frames on eBay kind of to correlate with the colors in the room. But I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with his pictures. He recently did one of She-Ra too. That's like a, that's some old school cartoon right there <laughs> that I really want to get um, and hang up in here as well because I love She-Ra. Then we got the window and then moving over here we've got the smaller pink box followed by the green viper toolbox right there with stuff. So let's get started on this guy. So at the very top here is the majority of my lipsticks. Uh, so we've just got a mishmash. This big section right here are MAC lipsticks and then we've got these absolutely stunning House of Siage uh, and Swar Swarovski crystal encrusted enamel cases that I'm obsessed with and then I love these I think MAC discontinued these the um, uh, patent polish lip pencils I love these things I use them quite often they're so pretty and glossy and easy to wear and then we've got a little Vanellope that just hangs right there a little Charlotte Tilbury Lip and Cheek Balm where I love the packaging on that collection. Um, Too Faced, uh, some more MAC. Um, Estee Lauder, I decluttered a bunch of these lipsticks because they went rancid much like a bunch of my full size Tom Fords did. Um, these ones are all good, but I had decluttered quite a few of them just because they, they went rancid. I don't buy them as often nowadays because they cost too much money to go bad so fast. <laughs> Because, like, I've got some old MAC lipsticks that are just as good as the day I bought them. But then we've got some Becca, Guerlain. These ones right here are all Pat McGrath lipsticks. And then these are Chanel, Dior. Some more Dior. I've got a random little Revlon nude lipstick that I just got, which I really like. Um, these are the new Buxom lipsticks. These are the Bold Gel Buxom lipsticks, which I sure hope they're not discontinuing because I love this formula. I think it would be great if they came out with more shades. I love uh, Guilty Angels, one of my favorite. That's why I got uh, two of them. <laughs> and then we've got some Clinique right there, followed by Urban Decay, some Shiseido, um, Fenty Beauty, Bite Beauty, Lancome, Makeup Forever. There's my Lonely Only Gucci, um, Tarte, Charlotte Tilbury, these little hourglass guys, which I really like. Some Bare Minerals, then some Marc Jacobs, and my another Lonely Only Christian Louboutin right there. And then, yeah, these are all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks um, in the bullet size right here, which I love. Love her lipstick. And then we got some Fenty, some Givenchy, Dose of Colors, Chantecai, Christian Audette, some other beautiful, beautiful lipstick cases. This one's Dior. These two are limited edition Guerlain's, which again, stunning. Some more Givenchy, some ColourPop, YSL, Tarte, some more MAC balms, MAC lipsticks, a little Besame guy right here, Sayate, Sayate, Bite, NARS. Uh, these are more like the lip crayon style right there. So that is the top shelf of the lipstick. And then the first drawer down right here, I have got all of the shiny, shiny, shinies of single eyeshadow products. 
Some of my absolute favorite glitter toppers are these Lime Crime ones right here. They have the twisty tops too so you can close them pretty tight. Um, those I think I got last year, the majority of them, during Black Friday. They're all still nice and creamy inside so that's excellent. Um, these little Essence Melted Chrome Shadows are amazing. You can get them at Ulta for like three bucks. Um, NYX, a Kat Von D Metal, Jill Stewart, some Pat McGrath, little Kaja Bentos, and then MAC, Baked Gelé Greatness. These little Ulta ones are super, super shiny and affordable as well. Then we've got these Touch and Souls. These are stunning, stunning. This is like one of my just favorite bling bling drawer. And then we've got some Tarte Chrome Paints. Again, I love those. And then the Hourglass Scattered Light. And then over here, which I'm obsessed with these as well. I'm obsessed with this whole drawer. Let's just, let's just be real. Um, these are all the uh, Kylie Cosmetics. What does she call these exactly? They're the uh, Shimmer Eye Glazes. I love these. They're so, so beautiful. And then we've got the Marc Jacobs, which are kind of similar to the Kylie ones. I've got a little glitter pot from Estee Lauder and a newer Eyes to Kill from Giorgio Armani. Otherwise, all the rest of these are vintage Giorgio Armani. These things here, these Eyes to Kill pots, stunning. They were like the first of their kind back in the day. These have got some age on them, although if I use one today, they, they work still really nicely. They, they're slightly a little bit dry, but they've held up very, very well. Some of the shades in here, again, are so pretty. They're like got flecks of two different colors of shades inside of them. They're just stellar, and I was hoping that these new ones would be like these ones, but they are not. So I only have one of the newer ones. But that is that is the fun drawer. It's like the party drawer, man. So that is the first drawer down. And then the second drawer down in the pink one. These are all lip balms. And then I've got some carryover of the MAC patent polish. And some lighter kind of glossy lip products. These M lip balms. I'm obsessed with the smell of these. These have got some age on them as well. But they are the exact same consistency and smell as the day that I bought them. They've held up really, really well. These guys are what went wild, glam glow uh, lip gloss, and then we've got some milk makeup Kush lip balms and lip gloss, which I really like. These are pretty vulgar. The casing on those is stunning. And then what else we have? Um, Dior, I love those. Bite Beauty lip masks and agave. They discontinued my absolute favorite Bite Beauty lip product ever and then there's some Pat McGrath lip balms tinted lip balms right there some SPF ones that I use a lot these two products are really old back here but I keep them because I think they're just cool um, Lancome like lip oil and then this was that the Estee Edit which they no longer make as well some eye drops for my allergy eyes some uh, glosses I think this is Danessa Myricks Rosie Marin and then these right here are by Terry kind of bomb de rose toppers and some YSL lip oils so that's kind of like the lip conditioner type of drawer right there and that's the second one down in the pink box and then the third one down is more lipstick <laughs> um, the majority of these are, are drugstore lipstick but also carryover shades that I don't wear as much of the, some of the brands that are on the very top. So there's some Urban Decay in here. And then so I got some old ones in here. I don't use them, but I can't bear to get rid of them. <laughs> um, Estee Lauder Lip Butters. And then I got some Wet n Wild. Some super old Victoria's Secret lipsticks. Again, I don't use them, but a few Color Pops in there. And then we've got some Smashbox. These newer L'Oreal Lip Shines are amazing. I love those and NARS and then these are all CoverGirl lipsticks. They sent over this huge box. I had gone through them and I think I I think I decluttered like half of these and gave them away and then I've got some NYX and these Maybelline Color Sensationals back here which those are some of my favorites from the drugstore as well, those Maybelline ones. And then over here a lot of MAC carryover. These, this is what's crazy is those newer Estee Lauder lipsticks that have gone rancid. Like some of them have, had gone bad in like a couple like maybe two months after I bought them. But these here, these lipsticks here from Estee Lauder are as good as the day that I purchased them. It's This just blows my mind. And these these got some age on them. But I can still use these more than I use the ones that are much newer than those. Like that formulation is the bomb. Look at this MAC lipstick. Crazy. And then some 
what are these? Givenchy, Little Clinique, Little Marc Jacobs, just a mishmash. And then I was really over the moon for these guys for a while. The Too Faced Melted. So I've got a bunch of those. And then they sent over a bunch of these melted mats here, which I go back and forth with decluttering and then not decluttering. Because I'm like, well, what if I do want to wear a liquid matte lipstick sometime? <laughs> Because this is pretty much what I have for matte liquid lipsticks is these two faced ones. So I just hang on to them just maybe in case. But that is the third drawer down on the smaller portion of this uh, pink box right here. Then here's the for first drawer um, of the big portion of the pink box right here. These are all MAC products. Mostly um, bronzers and blushes and highlighters, which are... Okay, well, these are all MAC face products. <laughs> um, this is where I have all my uh, MAC stuff right here. Which, some of the compacts, I just I just love them. Well, you guys want to see some... Where is it? Where? Oh, there she is. Everybody, everybody went crazy for this product right here. It was so hard to get. I don't even remember how much or who I stocked or what to get this product. <laughs> but this was from a... Um, Summer collect Mac Summer Collection. It was Marine Life Highlight Powder. I could not bear the thought of ruining the overspray on the seahorse, which I should just use it, but I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> One of my favorite collections that Mac has ever done, along with the Liberty of London. The packaging on this collection was stunning as well. I just love it. I love it. So Mariah Carey, Maleficent, oh, Marilyn so pretty I love that collection as well so face powders blushes um, stuff like that things and stuff stuff and things some Cinderella Aladdin I think all of these ones right here are bronzers except for these um, and then I've got my beloved baked jelly blushes right there so those are all Mac face products right there and then the second drawer in the big portion more blush. I mean, who knew? Uh, yeah, more blush. Another one of my favorites are these Clinique Pop. Those are all baked jelly as well. These guys right here, I love those blushes. You've got some Buxom, more Buxom, the Balm. Um, what are the styles? The Fiona Styles, which they discontinued that brand, I believe. These ones right here are all Lorac, uh, Benefit, Sigma, a little Estee Lauder in there. And then more Sigma. These ones right here are Laura Geller. Those are baked jelly greatness right there, these little guys. And then these are all Tarte. I've decluttered so many Tarte blushes because I have so many of those like larger Tarte blush palettes with removable pans too. So it's really convenient for traveling and whatnot. And there's so many repeat shades. So I'm like, I can declutter. So I decluttered a ton of Tarte. Back here is some Cargo. And then here again are all Clinique. And then a little Butter London, Melt Cosmetics, uh, Makeup Geek, Estee Edit, uh, Urban Decay, Bare Minerals, all right here. Uh, what do we got over here? Uh, oh my gosh, you guys want to see? I think I showed this in my last uh, video. This here is so beautiful. This is from Lancome. I wish I would never ruined any of the overspray. The overspray side is the color I wish it was, but the more peachy side is what it actually looks like. Still so pretty. Then these here are all Too Faced blushes. Look at how old this little guy. This one's got some age on it. It's super pretty though. And then I've got a Smashbox blush. This is one of my all-time absolute favorite blushes ever. I love this thing. It's in it's Prism Soft Lights. I love that. Kaleidos highlighters. Cover effects. These are those blush duos with a baked jelly half and a powder half. I love those. Then we've got Stila back here. Some of these... They used to come out with these little limited edition blushes, and they haven't done that forever in a day. So what they look like. Right there. Those are all Stila. And then there's some Sephora back there. And then we have got Kat Von D blushes. This was kind of a flop, these ones right here. But I kept two of them. I ended up returning the other ones. They're just pressed so, so hard in the pan. But the colors are really pretty. And then another uh, Clio product. And then these guys right here are all Kiko. And we've got ColourPop. These ones are Dose of Colors, Dose of Colors, a little RMS blush, and then Smith & Colt, which these are beautiful. And then on the side here, 
our more uh, ColourPop blushes right there. So that is the second drawer down. More blush. And oh my gosh, you guessed it. The third drawer down is more blush. <laughs> yes, I have decluttered these blushes several, several times. <laughs> so over here on the left, we have got some Lily Lolo back here. These have got some age on them too, these uh, loose powders. Uh, Bare Minerals. I used to have so, so many Bare Minerals blushes and highlighters. And then, does anybody remember Face Front? This was a big deal on YouTube back in the day. This is just a really pretty baby pink with such pretty sparkles in it right there. This one is a little Splash Cosmetics one. What is this guy? Oh, and, uh, Lily Lolo Pressed uh, Blush Duo right there. And then we've got Sonia Kashuk and Who Remembers Gemma Kid. I feel like this is turning into a Who Remembers video, but uh, Gemma Kid used to be sold at Target and they no longer sell that at Target. Then we got some CoverGirl Catrice products, Alme, Hard Candy, some really ancient Everyday Minerals right here. There's, there's one. It's this really beautiful lavender color. I self-mixed this one. It's not pearl beige. It's like this lavender pinky beautifulness. I can't bear to get rid of it. It's stunning. These right here are all Physicians Formula. And then we've got these two Found Beauty and a Makeup Obsession right here. But these are all Physicians Formula right here. There's some old ones in there as well. Like These here are super stunning. And they don't make them anymore to my recollect. And then over here, these are all Milani. All Milani products. So these ones are all the flower blushes. Oh well, wait, here's the flower blushes right here. So those ones are all flower ones. And these ones are a little bit newer right here. And then the smaller kind of baked ones in the front. Then there are some Revlon, some L'Oreal. This is from the summer collection of this year. Those are so pretty. Um, these are old school Kardashian, but they're beautiful. They're like baked and they're shiny and they're really pretty. And then we have got some Pixie Highlighter Duos, some Makeup Revolution highlighters right there, and then Makeup Revolution blushes. These here are so pretty and so affordable. These Makeup Revolution blushes come in this kind of compact. They might have changed the packaging since, but super beautiful blushes. And then next to those, this is all Wet n Wild face products right here. Gotta stand up. I love these products from them as well. Those are baked gelée greatness. I love those. There's a highlighter that's in my highlighter drawer that I have used up an entire one of those and am on to another because I love it so much. These are Wet n Wild as well. And then we've got a little Rimmel and then these are NYX right here followed by Sleek Makeup. Um, these are some, I think Palladio, no, uh, Femme Couture that you get at Sally's. And then a little Joe Fresh. I got that on Hot Look some time ago. Palladio. And then BH Cosmetics. Followed by more Sleek. Elf. And a Lonely Pixie one. A Flower Beauty blush that is a powder that turns into a liquid. And then these are Maybelline. I got a Body Shop brick back there. Makeup Revolution. And more Flower Beauty. These are beautiful blushes too from uh, Walmart. So that is another drawer of blushes, mainly kind of drugstore. Then moving to the fourth drawer down here. This is my face um, foundations and cream products. I've got some CoverGirl foundations back there, which I kind of rarely use. Some more shades of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. Um, a backup of my favorite shade, I believe it's called Fawn. Um, got some old products back there. A Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Um, I bought this and I've never tried it yet. <laughs> um, some NARS multiples. Um, just some cream highlighters, cream blushes, cream things that I keep trying and wanting to use but I just never do. I still have this. Still smells and feels the exact same way as the day that I bought it. It's just called the Tom Ford Fire Lust. It's got some age on it though. Um, I don't tend to keep a lot of cream products around for too long. Although that bubble blush from Guerlain is quite old and so is that YSL blush. But they both smell and perform the uh, same way as the day I got them. So. And then over here I just have some contour things, palettes. Um, 
Hula bronzer, which I should really have that in my bronzer drawer, but <laughs> it's a little full over there. And then just some products I use for contouring when I decide to like contour contour, if I ever do, which ain't very often, but a Dior blush. This one is from the, I think the fall collection that came out. Can I open it? There we go. It's a real contoury type shade. So that is everything that is in that drawer right there. And then the bottom drawer on this pink one, these are all brushes. Just a ton of synthetic brushes, both eye and face brushes. And then there's some puffs and some kabuki brushes over here in this kind of little basket that I have in the corner, but I've got a lot of brushes. <laughs> So that's the smaller pink box. Now we're moving over to the Viper Green toolbox. This is actually where I'm standing right now. Here is the mirror, and this is where I actually stand to film. And so this is right to my right to my left. <laughs> it's uh, to the left of me here. And I keep stuff that um, I kind of primarily use a lot. Like this is a Benjabel. Uh, brush tree. I absolutely love this thing. This is where I keep my daily use brushes, face mists. Um, there's a random little Jill Stewart blush in there. Um, my beloved Anastasia Beverly Hills loose highlighters. Again, I love them. And I just love this thing. It just holds my brushes just really, really well. So those are the ones I have in use right now. And then there are some highlighters that don't fit in my highlighter drawer that I still like and I don't want to forget about. So we've got some a little Kat Von D, Natasha Denona, Fenty, um, Jeffree Star. That there is a Marc Jacobs one. It's beautiful. And then this guy here I got from a swap from a subscriber in Paris. A sparkly white highlighter that's giant. So I keep that right there too. And then over here, um, these are the Holiday Meteorites. I've been using these as bronzer. They've got a really red undertone. And I just think they look nice as bronzer. And other things that I really love. I use my Wet n Wild every day to set my neck. I love this Makeup Revolution Sculpting Glow. Um, the two highlighters that are in these Colored Rain uh, blush duos, I love those. Uh, my regular Galan Meteorites. The Pure Cosmetics powder foundation that I use with a tiny brush for extra coverage on blemishes that um, when I just use a light coverage of foundation that don't cover it up so I just kind of pinpoint conceal with those. Stila Glittering Glows, that little Fenty guy. Uh, Q-Tips, this is the brush that I like to use for the uh, Wet n Wild on my neck. It's a Real Techniques one. And then over here, these two um, Adept Cosmetics palettes right here. These are full of Vizart eyeshadows. I just opened them up for you guys. So that's the nude one, and there's a divider in there. I think I've showed these to you guys a couple times, but uh, these are all Viseart eyeshadows. So I just keep these real handy because I use them quite often. They're some of my absolute favorite eyeshadows, and then I keep those in an Adept Cosmetics um, magnetic palette, and those just sit ever so handily right here. And then in these little trays, I tiered them with makeup boxes. So the trays are all the same, but I just tiered them so that I can see them better. Um, I also got these beautiful little things right here, these little holder cups from Sonia G. I believe she got them in Japan. They're so beautiful. So I use that one for Q-tips, and then that one right there, the black one, I've got lip oils in there, which I use every day as well. Uh, these are nude lip liners, warm pink, like corals and oranges, uh, reds and burgundies, cool pinks, and then these right here are eyeliners, lash glue, um, some glitter topper eyeshadows right there, and then these right here is uh, foundation, uh, Bare Minerals Bare Pro and Dr. Dirt Beauty Balm that I use quite often, and then some random black eyeliners and some co liquid colored eyeliners up there as well. So that is on the top of the green box. Now we'll get into the top drawer of the green box and this is where I've got all of my concealers and a couple of powders as well. Right now I've been loving that Ilia powder for setting underneath the eye and then I've got the Lottie London. That right there is the RCMA. A little stellar one. So just a ton. You guys are right by my lights here. Um, a ton of concealers because I love concealer. And then I've also got these uh, Pat McGrath um, sparkly, what are they called? Astral Blue Star Chromalux Highlight Creams right here. 
they dry really fast but I like glitter all over everywhere and that's kind of what those are <laughs> and then I use this here stick foundation from Bare Minerals for my eyeshadow primer so I keep that in this concealer drawer as well some degreaser powders wet n wild brulee eyeshadow so those are all concealers in there and then this next drawer is kind of higher end single eyeshadows um, Chantecai, these are all those Kat Von D's. I've been so tempted so many times to depot these, but I haven't. So these are all Kat Von D uh, Clinique Pops. I think these ones are some really pretty Palladio. Yeah, these here, this isn't high end, but these are really nice from Sally's. And then uh, Chantecai, Burberry, um, Estee Lauder. These are baked jelly. I'm not even sure if they make those anymore. Um, a little Tom Ford single, which is terrible I should really just declutter it but I got it in New York City so <laughs> I kind of want to keep it but uh, Lancome what's this guy Shuimura I think it's more Lancome um, little Chanel these are beautiful I got those I think in, did I get those in New York I think I did NARS singles Gucci Marc Jacobs Estee Lauder there's some real old guys back up in here that I just can't part with some Urban Decay singles um, Chanel Lauder uh, these are all Pat McGrath. And then some cream base type products like a glitter glue, NYX primers, which I used to use this an absolute ton. And these are some cream shadows, a Tarte primer, uh, primer potion. These are those really pretty little Anasui eyeshadows that I keep right there. And then some potted ones like glitters and some different things in that drawer right there. And then the drawer below that one also has a bunch of singles. So Makeup Geek pigments. Uh, these are all wet and wild pigments, more glitter topper shadows, stack of loose shadows from Pixi. Um, these are all MAC singles right there. Some drugstore ones, Serena Tarantino, more MAC. Um, MAC Pixi. Uh, these are MAC pigments, some larger MAC eyeshadows. This one here is just the one. Oh, look, there's Marilyn again. Some Marilyn in there. There's a baked shadow I just vividly remember getting in Las Vegas. It's this one right here. It's so old, but I just love it. And then some more MAC pigments. So that is the third drawer down right there. Then into the larger part of the Viper storage right here. Um, these are all of my most used, for the most part, um, highlighters in here. Um, it kind of overlaps with this little shelf that I just um, put up. But I've got um, Guerlain, uh, Chanel, Ciate, Clay de Poe, Too Faced, Lancome, some ColourPops, Kylie, um, Kleidos, Tarte, Burberry, Kat Von D. Oh, what else do we got in here? I love, I love my Ofra highlighters. I love my Dior Baked Jelly highlighters. These ones right here from MAC are also Baked Jelly. Um, this Master Chrome, love that. You can see I love these two, the Master Holographic and Master Chrome highlighters. I use those an absolute ton right there. A Give Me Glow, some Milk, Milk, Melt, Makeup Forever, LA Girls. Those are really pretty, really affordable. Uh, Becca over here. Oh, what else? Oh, this here is really pretty as well. These newer ones from Bare Minerals. I've got the one in Whimsy. I've got the other one. I think the shade is Koi or Joy. <laughs> and it's a really pretty blush, but this is a beautiful duochrome highlighter right there. So these are the highlighters. Got Amrezy, oh, Wet n Wild. These Wet n Wilds. These are baked jelly. I love these Wet n Wild highlighters. This is the one, where is it? There you are. <laughs> you can see how much I love this. And I've got so many of these on backup, it's quite ridiculous. But I love that one, and it is in Blossom Glow. This NYX one is beautiful. I still love this one, this old one from the MAC Holiday Collection. It's a blush duo with a highlighter that's just stunning in there. Estee Lauder, Tom Ford one. So, them are all highlighters right there. And then the drawer below that, and you know what I do? I tend to leave this open all the time and use it like as a shelf and it gets really dusty from makeup powder. So I'm constantly trying to keep that clean. I just need to learn to keep it shut. But anyway, the one below that, these are all, I gotta kind of back up. These are all my really high end 
blushes right here. Let me get the face over here. We've got some Gucci. These are Burberry. These ones right here are all Chanel. These ones here are NARS. These are the NARS, um, these duos right here that are big to jelly, <laughs> and I love them. Um, two more NARS ones, YSL, Hourglass, Tom Ford, this here thing, which was terrible, um, but when I scrape off the product, because it's pressed ridiculously hard, and then it looks pretty, but you shouldn't have to do that on something that costed this much money. Just saying. And then we got some Tom Ford blushes right here. And then way in the way back here, there's some Illamasqua, which these are beautiful. This is one of my favorite blushes as well, as you can see. And this one is in, what is it called? I forgot. And the name is rubbed off. It's like, um, I can't remember. It's like milk or something. <laughs> and then these right here are all Dior. Um, more Dior. Dior. This one is from the summer collection. This is actually one of my most used blushes this summer. Um, Vizart, Givenchy, Natasha Denona, some larger Tom Ford, um, Marc Jacobs, Sicily, Guerlain, Estee Lauder right through here. And then we've got some more Estee Lauder. YSL, um, Guerlain. Ah, what are these guys again? This is pretty vulgar. Yeah. Pretty vulgar. Uh, this is a Claritin's one. Cute little Lancome tin. And that's got like little shimmer bricks in there that are blushes on me. Some Kevin Aqua. I love these Kevin Aqua blushes here. I've got two of them. There are these ones right here. I just absolutely adore those. And then we've got some Ciate, which are baked jelly, and I love over here. Some Anasui. You guys can be just with this packaging. I love this so much. I gotta show you guys the blushes. They're inside. They're magnetized in there so you can switch them out, which I think is great. Isn't that beautiful? Um, by Terry over here. More Anasui, Anasui. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, Paul and Joe. Besame. Bobby Brown. Some more Marc Jacobs right there. Um, a uh, Becca, which is a blush on me. And look at this. This is Paul and Joe as well. It's so right up my alley, right? It's a cardboard type packaging. I have the matching lip balm to this packaging too. I just loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, there's horses on there. But isn't that pretty? I also got these really cute ones right here from Paul and Joe. Gosh, they make some cute stuff, you guys. Paul and Joe and Anna, so we make some really cute stuff. So that is my really kind of high, mostly high-end um, blush drawer right there. And then below that one, we have got, this drawer's a mess, you guys. I tried to semi-organize it, but um, I just couldn't seem to declutter enough bronzers to make it look super organized. <laughs> and so this is what it is, because I like most of these bronzers. Um, actually, some of these Guerlain Terracotta ones, I couldn't bring myself to ruin the overspray, so some of them haven't been used. Some of them have, but these are all Guerlain right here from Summer Collections. And then we've got a Butter Physicians Formula, Laura Mercier, Too Faced, Clarins, Lauder, uh, Givenchy, Tom Ford, a Pixie, Marc Jacobs, um, Estee Lauder again. And then these right here are all Too Faced. Uh, Dior, oh gosh. This here is so vintage, so nostalgic, so love it. Like, I bronzed my face with this many a years ago, and I just thought... And see, it kind of doesn't look like a bronzer, but I thought it was the best thing ever like ever ever <laughs> that's from that's really old and it's from Clinique right there and then these are Becca uh, some more Too Faced more Too Faced I love Too Faced bronzers they're really nice a Fenty I got two Fenty I think there's one sneaked underneath here this one's from Besame this is beautiful uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills look at this Dolce and Gabbana compact pretty right Another Estee Lauder, this one here I got this summer, and I love this. This is going to be in a probably a yearly favorites video. I love that bronzer. Uh, pretty Vulgar Dior, some more Lauder. Those are from the Beckham collection, which I love those. Chanel, Cover FX, uh, what's this guy, Stila, L'Oreal, uh, Wet n Wild. This is a random one that I got off of Walgreens. I think it was part of like a Pocahontas collection or something. And then this here is a beautiful bronzer as well. This is one of the newer ones from Bare Minerals. I use the heck out of this as well. Like, I've used this so much. It's in the shade Faux Tan, right? Yeah, Faux Tan. Right here. 
And then we have got a Benefit Dallas. I use that as a bronzer as well. We got some Wet n Wild snuck in here. A Bare Minerals Charlotte Tilbury uh, Film Star Bronze and Glows. This here is awesome. I had, this is my second one of these. I used up an entire one of these Master Contours from Maybelline. The bronzer shade in here is beautiful. It's got a nice kind of ready undertone to it. It's just stunning. The blush is pretty. The highlighter is pretty. It's affordable. I don't know. I've used, yeah, I've used up like a whole one of those. Well, at least the bronzer side. And then I got a new one. And then these ones here are what I think these are Kevin Aqua, right? Yeah, Kevin Aqua. I love those two. He makes nice bronzers. And then we've got more by Terry Flower. Lancome, some more Guerlain, there's a Chantecaille Cargo, um, Josie Marin, there's an old guy in the back there, some Estee Lauder, which are quite old, uh, Estee Lauder, Laura Mercier, Bobbi Brown, Milani, uh, Chantecaille uh, Goa bronzer, love that, that's a big jelly, it's beautiful, Too Faced YSL, some old school Kat Von D, but the oldest of schools is this Kat Von D bronzer. I use this to no end. Crazy. Put that right there. I can't, I can't bear to get rid of that. Um, what else is over here? The Balm. More Kevin Aqua. This Catrice is really nice. And then there's an Hourglass one. Uh, Laura Geller. Yeah, so that is the bronzer drawer. I really wish there was more organization to this and I could cut down on it, but that's as far as it gets. <laughs> so far for me. So that's bronzer right there. And then the drawer below that one. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. These are all pressed powders and loose powders for like setting your face and stuff like that. That is pretty much primarily what all of this is. So over here are there's double <laughs> there's double layers of those. Those are the Guerlain meteorites for the most part. I don't want my camera to get blurry here. So underneath this cover effects and this Too Faced there are um, double layers of Milan meteorites, which I'm, I love. This was one of the most beautiful things that Guerlain has ever done. <laughs> These meteorites here, I think they were from three winters ago. I just love those. And then some more Paul and Joe. These are actually more blush kind of deals right here, but I keep them in here because they fit. Look at how cute that is. So cute. Oh. Some more Guerlain. This one right here, I believe, is Anasui. Look at that packaging. It's a pressed powder that's refillable. Anastasia Wet n Wild Dior Shimmer kind of powder that I've used as a setting powder. And I just I just got to be a little careful with it. It gives me some nice color, though. The Juno & Co. Underneath the Juno & Co., there's a bunch of Givenchy. Prism Libre powders. There's an Hourglass powder in there. Um, Fenty. Well People. Becca. Then I've got some... Powder foundations right here. Laura Geller Pure. Put these on top because they had nowhere else to go. Some Besame, Laura Mercier. Some MAC. Um, Hourglass Ambience, which I use as finishing powders. Look at this compact right here. I bought this one here from Toshia um, in Japan, Food Japan. Look at this. It's just, it's beautiful. It's just kind of a pressed powder, but I, I love the compact on it. It's so stunning. And then same with this one right here. This is the Snow Powder. Look at this compact. I got this from Toshia as well. Some YSL in there. Just really pretty things over there. This is an Anasui one that came in a pretty little set. What else do we got? Some, oh gosh, Guerlain. This one here is Wulong. These are refillable, super, super heavy. I just, I love Guerlain Meteorite products. I love them. This is Besame. So yeah, that is the powder drawer. Loose and pressed face powders for the most part right there. And then the drawer below that one is more makeup brushes. <laughs> the bottom drawers are the deepest, so they hold the makeup brushes the best. These are primarily all of my handmade Japanese makeup brushes. So these synthetics over here are the Hakuhoto synthetics that, that uh, Sephora collabed with them on, but otherwise I've just got a whole bunch, pull it all the way out here, a whole bunch of makeup brushes. Um, Sonia G, Hakuhoto, Chikahoto, uh, Wayne Goss, what else do I got in here? There's some Ray Morris, there's a few MAC brushes that are duo, like uh, synthetic and natural in here as well, but I love this drawer. 
Yep, so that is what's in that one. And then if we move on up here where I stand kind of, I just put up this little shelf and it comes in really handy to set things that I want to try or that I really love or when I'm doing hauls and stuff to kind of set my stuff there. And it just comes in really handy. There's the new Pat McGrath palette that I'm slightly obsessed with. And then if you move over to my right, I've got these little real techniques things. These are the handiest things ever. I got like daily use products in there kind of. So like brow stuff. Uh, mascaras. This brush shouldn't be in there. I don't know why it's in there. <laughs> uh, my favorite eyeliners, some tools, lash uh, applicator things. Th these are just handy. You can just kind of stick them onto any type of smooth surface like that. And they're just, they're pretty awesome. The sun has gone down so I've lost some of my light. But now we're moving into the great big uh, pink box right here. So are we standing over here? Kind of get the gist right. <laughs> um, and I'll go up on top here. I do have a little shelf that I put up there that I put that really pretty Chantecai, um box that with the limited edition shadows in that I just think it's so pretty. And then a uh, um, Shane Dawson collab makeup bag that I just thought was the cutest. Anyway, this is what's on top of the toolbox. These are all eyeshadow palettes. And then over here on the furthest left we have got real handy all of my Viseart eyeshadow palettes right here. And these these go to the little guys. And this here, gosh, you guys, this is, I'm constantly dusting this because I, I stand right over there and do my makeup and like I, all of the makeup powders just sprinkle all over this stuff. <laughs> um, then there's these guys and these guys. I love their new packaging. You guys want to see what the old, 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 this is how I look all the way, way back here. This is what the old packaging looked like. I've got, I think, three of those guys. And then the Jouer Skinny Dip Palette, which I love. The Colored Rain Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette. I adore that thing. I got a random little melt stack right here. I put it, pulled it out because I want to try to use it some more, so I put it right there. And then these here are all Pat McGrath. These are her larger palettes. Oh, I almost fell off my stool because I'm standing on a stool. <laughs> um, her six pans. I got these little guys this little random release and then her new uh, quads which there's one in here well I love all of them actually they're all really beautiful but that the, the last quad that she came out with was just stunning I got our Ilia Charlotte Tilbury I think that's a palette of pops right there uh, Bobbi Brown Menagerie NARS oh what do we got here uh, Jouer Ultra Foil I love that thing too uh, Colored Rain and then we've got a Luxie, um, Fenty, Give Me Glow, another Menagerie, Menagerie, Fenty, um, Sydney Grace, um, and then more Give Me Glow right here. And then these are the three new um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palettes. Then we've got Dominique Cosmetics are all of these guys right here. There's five of them. Um, Jeffree Star Alien Palette, and then over here we've got KKW Beauty and Kylie Cosmetics are all of those right there. And then there's some NARS, Estee Lauder, Chantecaille, the Mini Norvinas, these little guys from Anasui, Charlotte Tilbury look in a palette, Kevin Aquan, another Charlotte Tilbury, Kevin Aquan. These are all buxom shadows which are really nice in the kind of removable uh, little pan things. These ones right here are all Natasha Denona. Dose of Colors, Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona, um, Jeffree Star, Tarte, Melt Cosmetics right here. These are large palettes that have got, um, I think the black one's all ColourPop, and then I've got one full of Makeup Geek, one full of Makeup Forever Artist Shadows, which I love. These are those Sephora Pro palettes, which I thought were really nice. The one with the stickers is an Adept Cosmetics palette, and then the ones behind it are, are Colored Rain. And then Charlotte Tilbury, I've got these two Buxom palettes right here, Tarte, Urban Decay, um, Jeffree Star, Too Faced, this is a Sayate one, and then all of these right here are all Too Faced palettes right here, all the way to the back on this row right here. So that is everything that's on this top shelf of palettes in the large pink box. So then we'll move to this first little drawer. These are all eyeliners. Um, so gel liners in the front. I use these liquid lipsticks as eyeliners. Um, cake liners from Besame. Well, they're actually cake mascaras, but I use those as eyeliners. Some pencil liners from 
uh, Milk and Linda Hallberg and then there's some more cake liners in the back right there. So basically all Eyeliner stuff right there and then the one next to that one is glitter Mascara a couple uh, mascaras. I couldn't I'm not crazy about this mascara. It's from pure. I don't know pretty vulgar but I love the packaging, so I kept it. But other than that, you got a bunch of glitter products, mascaras, and then in the back are cream shadows. So Charlotte Tilbury, Tom Ford, um, Estee Lauder, and The Way Back. Those are still good, too, by the way. Those are really old, but they are just like the day that I got them. It's crazy. Um, these guys are Butter London right there. Look at this one. This is an old old holiday collection from MAC right here. The shade is Morning Frost. Again, held up so well. I did have some paint pots that I tossed because they dried out, but that guy is still as good as the day I bought it. So that's what's in that drawer. And then next to that one is Brow Products. Who remembers, here we are again, <laughs> who remembers the Anastasia colored brow powders? I just thought those were great. I did an ombre brow with those a couple times. But uh, mainly just brow products, pencils, gels, palettes. I love my little Dior palette. There's the older version in the larger packaging of Benefit. Some sharpeners and a couple tools back there. And then gels and pencils right there. So primarily all eyebrow stuff. And then below that one is all kind of pigments. I just got a ton of random pigments. This palette here, these shades look so beautiful, but they are so hard to use. They're from, I think, Love Lux Beauty. Gosh, they're really difficult to use, though. Um, so we've got Makeup Geek, L'Oreal, Bare Minerals, uh, Shuyamura, Tarina Tarantino, Too Faced Sugar Pill, some Illamasqua in there. So just an absolute ton of uh, pigments that are in here. And so I keep that in there. And then in this drawer here, we have got all Tom Ford. So starting right here are all Tom Ford quads right here. There's a, you can't see, there's a little bit of a lip on the back here. Um, and then these larger palettes from Tom Ford, a little guy from Charlotte Tilbury. These actually get into uh, Charlotte Tilbury right, right there. Wait, right there. So there's uh, smaller Tom Ford. All these are Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury getting into Chanel. There's a larger Chanel palette right here. Then we've got Burberry, uh, more Chanel quads. Uh, these guys right here are all Gucci. What happened to Gucci? I really enjoyed their line. You got the duos and then the quads right there. And then we've got a bunch of YSL palettes, which I collected for a while because the packaging was so pretty. The eyeshadows are okay. Some of them are really good, some of them are really bad, some of them are okay, but the packaging is so pretty. <laughs> so I was collecting those for a while, but that is what is in that drawer right there. And then the drawer below that one, we have got um, Estee Lauder. Um, the oldest Estee Lauder, where is it? I wanna show it to you guys. It's right up here in front. This is old school Estee Lauder. I used this an absolute boatload back in the day too. I would use it like a smoky eye with a bright blue like cobalt eyeliner. It was pretty. These are the newer ones. These are the older ones, some summer ones. These are all Dolce & Gabbana. These ones are Guerlain. Guerlain, a uh, little Estee Lauder trio right there. This is a Suku Holiday palette, uh, Dior palettes, and then more Suku quads back there, which I wish so bad we had Suku more readily available here in the States. But it is what it is, uh, probably for the best. <laughs> um, Giorgio Armani, these little guys right here. And then all the rest of these, got a little problem. Uh, all the rest of these are Dior quads. I love some Dior quads. They've come out with some duds, not gonna lie, but um, for the most part, I love my Dior quads. I think this is a big jelly from summer that I love. I love this quad, what's it called? It is called Terra. Conveniently, 786 Terra. And I know that one came out with the summer collection, so those are all Dior right there. And then below that one is this is a pretty old drawer. These are all pretty much now, they're all vintage Kat Von D right here. These ones are a little bit newer, but these guys are all pretty old. This was one of my absolute favorite palettes ever. I love this thing so much and the packaging on this 
the artistry. I just thought that was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Kat Von D, and then over here, these were her like duo eyeshadows. The packaging again on those is so pretty. And then her shade shifter. And then all the rest of these right here are Bare Minerals Ready Shadows, which I love their Ready formula a lot more than the current formula that they have. These ones were stellar. That's why I have so many. <laughs> um, they still work just as good as the day that I bought them as well. They hold up really, really well. Um, some of my Kat Von D have gotten a little dry, but these ones are still really good. So that is Bare Minerals Ready and Kat Von D. And then the drawer below that one is, what do we have? Uh, Shantakai. So over here are all Shantakai eyeshadow palettes. Then we have got a two Bobbi Browns. Nope, five Bobbi Browns. These ones here. And these three are Bobby Browns, Shantakai Duos, this Anasui one. I had this up on top, but it just kept tipping over, so I put it in this drawer. This is one of those magnetic palettes as well that you can put her um, single shadows in right there. Very pretty. Uh, Clay de Poe, some more Shantakai. And then these right here are all NARS, more duos that I are duo. Oh, I had singles in the other drawer, right? These are duos. And then you guys want to see this guy here is so old. The quality of this was just not very good, but... I had to have it because it was Andy Warhol, and at the time I was totally obsessed with the movie Factory Girl. So that's the NARS Andy Warhol palette. And these are so stiff. <laughs> so that's that guy. And then over here are all uh, Marc Jacobs eyeshadows. The trio, or yeah, trios. And then the seven pan palettes in there. And then moving into this kind of deeper drawer right here. This is just kind of some random palettes, to be honest with you. Uh, Linda Hallberg, Tarte, Becca, Persona, Suva, um, Inglot. There's a Divergent palette right back here. It's got some age on it, but it has some really pretty shadows in there. Um, what's this one? Jeffree Star Androgyny, which is not, I don't think, his oldest formula in his first two palettes. This is nice, but uh, Saucebox, Tarte. Yeah, random. Very very random. There's a Kevin Aqua back there. So just a random drawer of random palettes right there. And then getting into this great big drawer here. This drawer is kind of nuts. These right here are all of the smaller Too Faced palettes. I have them all the way back to the very thick ones that they used to do. So those are all Too Faced and then it dives into, look at how old these guys are. Does anybody still have these? The little to goes they have like a shadow deal on top and a drawer on the bottom with like blush and bronzer super cute these guys are pretty old as well look at that so pretty um and then we've got urban decay mixed in kind of in the middle sprinkled here with some two-faced more two-faced this little guy some urban decay and then over here is all urban decay as well so just a bunch of Urban Decay kind of smaller palettes right there. So that is that large drawer. And then getting into the one below that, we have got, these right here are all MAC quads. And then there are four pan little palettes right there. So all MAC over here. And then these ones here are all Clinique. And Clinique and a random Lila B. Then we've got Sayate, YSL, and Tarte. In here there's a oh there's a pretty old Josie Baron back there as well that I used to use that a lot so those are Tarte palettes right there and Mac Clinique over there and the one below that one is a bunch of random palettes uh, over here we've got the rock palettes You've got a Butter London, Becca, Lancome by Terry, more Lancome. These here are the first uh, Lime Crime palettes. These are so old. They're in the tins with the unicorn on them. Can't bear to get rid of them. More Divergent palettes. Those are pretty old. These are all Makeup Forever. This one here is so old that the color, see off the top, is coming off. But I did a video on this like way back when I first started my channel. Crazy. Kevin Lacroix, Shiseido, Il Maquillage, Smashbox, um, what is this guy again, uh, Atelier, Shuyimura, another Paul and Joe, how cute is Tweety Bird, and then these are all Shuyimura right here, another Paul and Joe in the back with a kitty on it, that's a palette with some face products in there, then we've got some Laura Mercier, what's this guy, Lorac, 
Butter London, uh, more Laura Mercier Smashbox, and then more Smashbox, and then these guys right here are all Tarina Tarantino. Again, products I can't bear to part with. They're pretty old, however. And then these ones over here, M Cosmetics. Um, I really enjoyed the brand. <laughs> Some people didn't, I did. So I've got a bunch of those little palettes in here. And then Lunatic Cosmetics, how funny. Check out this packaging, it's crazy. <laughs> See, it's shaped like a coffin. And then some more little Lime Crime palettes. I got those because, man, they look like Polly Pockets. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what's in that drawer, it's pretty random. Then the drawer below that one is kind of primarily some drugstore palettes. These are all Pixie palettes over here with one Paula's Choice in the back, but some of these have got some age on them. This is one of the, ugh, I just think this is so, so pretty. Isn't it? Tink, Tinkerbell on the cover. So those are all Pixie. Um, I can't, another one of those things I just can't bear to get rid of. I used to use these so much. They're a dollar at Sally Beauty um, and they're single eyeshadows that kind of slide together. I love those things. And then these here are some Body Shop shimmer kind of bricks. And then we have got some Rimmel, right? Yes. Yeah, those are Rimmel, Rimmel and NYC palettes. Uh, L'Oreal, uh, Sleek in the back. I used to have so many Sleek palettes, but I decluttered a whole bunch of them. And then some Ancient, you guys. I used to have so many, so, so many of these Maybelline palettes. And I got rid of a ton of them, but I can't bear to get rid of some of these. These are like so, they're so old. <laughs> so old and so nostalgic. Same with these, look at these. Old, wait, these ones right here. Old school, the Smoke Squads. I love those things. And then this one here, another one. Check this out. This is really, really old as well from Revlon. Ugh, I used to use it so much. And then these ones here are all Milani and CoverGirl, which some of these are okay. Some of these are just not okay. <laughs> uh, L'Oreal, Rimmel. Uh, what are these guys? Uh, the newer Revlons. And then these ones here are the newer Maybellines. Back here, um, I got these in a swap. These are the Rosie for Autograph Quads. They're in like the same type of packaging as like e.l.f. But um, I've got a couple products from that line. I wish so bad we could get them again more readily in the United States. But there's a flower quad that's pretty old. These duos, these L'Oreal duos are ancient. Uh, flower Beauty. What's this guy? Uh, L'Oreal. And then more Milani ones right there. And over here, we have got some Sephora palettes that are pretty new that I quite like. These little I Love palettes, very convenient for a super quick look. So that is that drawer right there. Just a ton of kind of more drugstore palettes in there. And then below that one is a little bit smaller drawer. These are all eyelashes. These are all eyelashes, yes. Um, House of Lashes. Uh, Lily Faux Mink, these Colored Rain ones, uh, what, I can't remember the name of this brand right here, I, I saw them on like an ad or something like that, but those are primarily the ones that I wear, I like these Velour Faux ones as well, um, but those are kind of my favorite eyelashes, House of Lashes, Lily Lashes Faux Minks, and the uh, Velour Faux Minks, kind of the ones that I wear, I love those Colored Rain lashes, they're these guys right here. They're in the, sh the style Glamazon. I do have to cut them down quite a bit, but I love them. So this drawer is all eyelashes. And then the little drawer next to that, this is all, well, these glitters right here are not that old, but the rest of the stuff is like really old. It's so old, you guys, and I cannot, I can't bear to get rid of it. This little Too Faced thing right here, I, I'm, I think it's probably came out the very first year how old am I? Yeah, probably the very first or second year that Too Faced launched. And the powder itself in here is so beautiful. It's so sparkly. It's a loose powder, but it's stunning. I'm like, they should have never, ever stopped making this. But it's it's got to be getting to be at least like 15 years old. No joke. Lit glitters. Um, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen used to be sold at Walmart. Crazy. I got these here, which are huge, and I'm sure absolutely not eye safe. Um, I got those at Hot Topic. Crazy. And then way back in the day, Jessica Simpson had a line at Sephora. And in this year, I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing. I had just turned 21 years old. How old am I now? 36. 15 years ago. <laughs> um, she had this uh, dreamy. It's called Powder Sugar Deliciously Kissable Body Shimmer. Uh, right here. So like you could, it's like edible or whatever. And they sold this at Sephora. 
And I got this at the Mall of America because I went to Minneapolis for my 21st birthday. And if I could take a whiff of this, because it still smells the same. It's got a slightly kind of old powder smell, but for the most part it still has like a this sweet type of smell to it. Honest, it's like a time warp for me, man. Takes me straight back to being 21. So every once in a while, you know, I just come in here and take a whiff of it to feel 21 again. <laughs> um, anyway, there's just some really old makeup in here. Some uh, Victoria's Secret. Uh, this little guy is so ancient. This is from L'Oreal. I wore the living heck out of this back in the day. And then who remembers the Revlon? Here we are again. Here we are again. Who remembers? <laughs> uh, this is the Skin Lights. And this again has a specific smell to it that just takes me back to my younger days. I think I got this even before I got the uh, Jessica Simpson. Same with the Too Faced. Those are both older than the Jessica Simpson. Um, but this here takes me back to I think high school. Crazy, right? So that's kind of what's in that drawer. Then next to that drawer we have got one Phoebe right there. <laughs> we got this one right here. This is underneath the last drawer. And this is just a bunch of random kind of, again, drugstore palettes or palettes that have quite a bit of age on it. Like you can see some uh, Victoria's Secret palettes right here. I used the heck out of this back in the day. This was from the bronze collections they used to do. And then look, Heidi Klum on the cover of this compact for Victoria's Secret. So just some really old uh, Victoria's Secret stuff in there, some old uh, Sephora stuff. These little palettes right here are part of the Disney collections. They had Aladdin, Ariel, and Cinderella again right there. And then there's some stuff that's not that old. These Physicians Formula got some age on them as well, but these NYX palettes, these are pretty new right over here. Like these guys right here, Mystic Petals, and some other NYX palettes. These ones are all pretty relatively new, but Sonny Kashuk. You guys remember this collection? Little Sunny Kashuk palettes right here. Gosh, nobody talks about Sun. Well, they don't do makeup anymore. That's right. She does. She just mainly does brushes. So more NYX palettes. Um, some Elf palettes back there. Positions Formula. Those are pretty new. The butter ones. So yeah, that is that drawer. And then below that one <laughs> is the deepest drawer that I have. And oh my gosh, it's brushes again. <laughs> <laughs> these are primarily synthetic brushes. A lot of these ones have got really long handles to them, so I had to move them into a, the taller drawer because it's slightly taller than those ones over there and because I didn't want the tips of the bristles to get bent. So I've just got a bunch of brushes in here. I've got the Fenty ones, Marc Jacobs, uh, tons of brushes. Uh, Sephora brand have got a really long handle as well. Some tools and then some kabukis and then these here are uh, sponges, a beauty blender, uh, kind of little degreaser there. So, yeah, more brushes right there. And then in the top, uh, the deep drawer, well, this is actually the deepest drawer, but that's the deepest drawer like that. <laughs> um, this drawer here has just got a whole bunch of um, empty magnetic palettes right here. I've got a lot of empty magnetic palettes. Colored Rain, um, I think some of these are uh, Z palette, Adept Cosmetics, this is a Colored Rain, uh, Sephora ones, and then I've got my Q-tips in here, and then makeup wipes in the back that I use to wipe my hands off and stuff like that. So that is that drawer, primarily all empty makeup palettes in there. And then kind of coming full circle here, I'll show you what's in the drawers of this chest right here from Pier 1. Um, it's this one right here from the closet. So this one right here... Dirty makeup brushes and dirty sponges and tools and things that need to be washed. And then this little drawer here has got backup perfumes, excess perfumes. This was my favorite, favorite, favorite perfume. And then she discontinued it and brought it back and it smells nothing like this original. So I'm so happy to have a full size sealed backup of that. Cartier Basie Voulet. This is beautiful. I don't, I hope they didn't discontinue that, but I do have two bottles on backup of that, but just backup perfumes in there. And then this stuff here, really not that organized, uh, nail stuff. So nail polish remover, kind of like hardeners and strengtheners and nail type things. I'm not that brushed up on my nail stuff, but it's just primarily all nail stuff. And then I got this random brush soap right here that you guys got to see this. It's the cutest thing ever. And I can't bear to use it because it'll ruin the little stuff in there. 
it's so pretty. I just can't bring myself to use it. I really should just use it. I can keep the unicorn, so. And that's from Unicorn Lashes UK. That's um actually Curtis Reykjavich's image on the cover of that. How cute, right? From the pictures that you guys, I showed you guys on the wall. So that's in there. And then here, we've got more makeup. Um, those there are the old Giant M Cosmetics. I've got an old Laura Mercier case. It was really expensive. I kind of feel like... I don't know, it's it's really chic and huge and really not practical. <laughs> and then we've got these House of Lashes, Sephora Collab, Besame, Fenty Pigments. This is the uh, limited edition kind of porcelain girl on meteorites. I emptied out the meteorites into one that I currently am using because it's just their standard Claire shade um, and keep the porcelain in the box because it's just like kind of delicate. Uh, these are really old Laura Geller baked book of shadows kind of deal and then you guys, oh my gosh you guys gotta see this this is from paul and joe look at the lid look at this these are eyeshadows that are shaped like kitties yes they are like no joke aren't those the, like the cutest things ever totally not practical again this is basically kind of my non practical drawer no <laughs> And then in the bottom drawer, I've got some more Paul and Joe stuff. Um, some of their empty lipstick cases that are like refillable in a little kitty palette that those little kitties can actually go into. So that is from Paul and Joe. They just make some cute stuff, man. So that is that drawer. And then these next two drawers, these are all backups. It's a two drawers full of backup products of stuff that I, at one point in time, or either still am quite obsessed with. So backups in there. And backups in there. Ooh. See, I don't like this dresser, but more backups and then makeup bags in the back. Look at how pretty this is. This is really, really old as well. That's a Besame Snow White bag. I love that. It's so cute. So those are all backups. Then this larger drawer over here is just kind of some random stuff. Like these here I had my mom make out of like embroidery material stuff that you use on the back of like embroidery stuff to cover up the brightness of my lights to kind of make them not so harsh. So she made them to fit my lights. And then I got some Q-tips, um, a mirror I got from Toshia, some makeup bags, some empty Viseart palettes. Um, these here are some empty Anasui palettes, but I think the packaging is just stunning. So just kind of a random drawer there. And then the one below that, this is more makeup brushes. And would you believe me if I told you that these have got makeup brushes in them? <laughs> So here's another um, Wayne Goss the anniversary set. I really should open that up and put them part of my collection, but that drawer is pretty full. And then I want to do the same with these here, these Chicohoto brushes. Like, I've got some sets from the holidays and stuff like that, and I just don't have room for them, and I don't want them to be squished. So, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, Tara. Anyway, these are mostly all... Um, handmade uh, Japanese makeup brushes. This is a Chikohoto travel set that has my name uh, etched into the uh, etched into the side of the little brush there because they do etch on brush it, brushes. And then there's some, this is a Sigma one with some Sigma brushes in there, old Kat Von D, uh, some Chikohoto sets from, I think those were holiday sets, but uh, yes, there's brushes in there. <laughs> So that's what's in that one. And then this drawer down here, which is the very last drawer, this is a Maki box that uh, I got a Koyuto set in. I think I've got two of those boxes lingering around. And then look at this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> NARS! Again! Edie Cedric. Isn't that beautiful? I couldn't get rid of this tin. Like, it came with a collection of makeup products. Some Sigma stuff, little brushes. This is ancient. This is so ancient. I got this in Las Vegas. This is from Lorac. And it like twists out. Ah, I'm probably gonna wreck something. But it twists out, and there's three tiers of makeup in there. And then underneath that Sigma brush roll, right here, which also has brushes in it. Oh my gosh. Um, this is an old Tarte palette. And then these are Toki Doki. Look at these. How fun. Remember when Sephora sold Toki Doki? I still have those crazy. So just again, a random drawer of goodies. So that is everything in the uh, chest of drawers there. So just give you a little roundabout here, turn my ISO down. I've had to switch it on and off, so sorry about that, but just kind of give you guys a rundown. My room's not tidied up how it should be because I've 
move my stool and stuff to sit on and use. And there's Phoebe. There's uh, my light deal that I used to film with. My other light set up, the chests. Um, and then here's over here. And then my Curtis Reichabish. I love those prints so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I maybe found it helpful. Organization tips. <laughs> I don't know. Um, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.